Here's project effort number two here, and that is to get the uh, front wheel replaced on the Granger so that I'm not using inner tubes anymore. Um, I've taken the front wheel off. I have my SV Racing Parts uh, wheel set that I got. What I'm doing now is checking the spacer width. So I'm going to measure, these are the stock spacers, uh, and I'm going to measure this width here and then compare it to the SV Racing Parts spacers and see if it matches. Back again with the wheel and the spacers from the stock bike inserted. And when we look at the alignment here, it doesn't fit. The spacers are too long on both sides. So, uh, the good news is if we have to use those spacers, we can shorten them. That's an option to have someone uh, cut them to fit. Or the other option is to use the stock spacers that came with the wheels from SV Racing Parts. So I'm gonna try that option and see how that matches up. So these are the front spacers that came with the wheel that we bought. Um, just eyeballing these, they do, do look uh, narrower than the stock wheel spacers. So because the uh, stock wheel spacers won't fit, I think these may be just what we need to make everything fit up okay. What I've done here is I have put the uh, SV racing spacers in the wheels on each side. Um, looks like when I center the wheel, what I have is this size seems to be the right width, but this side has a gap. Let's see that. So I need a essentially a big washer just to fill that gap. Um, that's kind of an easy, relatively easy fix um, to move forward with our uh, tubeless, tubeless wheel on the front. Anyway, I'm gonna go see what I can find, but uh, that's my assessment of what we need to finish things with the fit anyway. But uh, good news using the uh, SV spacers seems to do the trick. Looks like today's my lucky day. Uh, I put a tire on the wheel uh, because things were going so well. And I have come around and put it on the front of the bike. I have the captured spacers from SV that came with wheels. The wheel looks centered in the fork. Yay, that's a good thing. So I'm gonna finish putting the axle in and uh, hopefully we've actually accomplished more than I expected to today. Uh, both wheels on the bike finished, it, well, except for the rear tire and the swing arm, but uh, that just needs a new chain. So, I am almost done here. I've uh, tightened down the axle. On the other side, tighten the nut, and then I need to uh, tighten the clamps up here. The disc is mounted from the original wheel. Uh, I am going to replace that disc with a circular one. I don't like the wave. Uh, specifically what I don't like is this little tiny narrow sweat spot there. I want to have a nice even surface for the brake pads to wear against. Anyway, that's my personal preference. Right, quick comment, I just slipped the brake caliper back on here. Um, I guess one nice feature of the wave rotor is this big gap right in here. Sure made the caliper easier to slide on if I slid it in this narrow spot trying to get it between the wheel here and the disc here, it made it easier. Uh, I don't like the performance aspects of it, but from a mechanical, putting the wheel on and off is handy. So I am just going to bolt the caliper back on, put the bolt here and down here, and uh, I'm done, ready to go test. Okay, final look at the bike. I have the um, tubeless front wheels on the bike, front and back. The back is not finished, it needs a longer chain so I can get the chain length correct and get the wheel to stop swing, uh, rubbing on the swing arm. But I was not expecting to get this done today and get the front wheel done. Um, the simple fact is the SV Racing Parts wheel that I got and the spacers that came with it really uh, just fit. 
I had to add a little spacer here on the front to take up a little tiny gap, but that's all I did to make it fit. And then I put the uh, parts that came with the Greenger back on and it's ready to go try out. Let's go see how it works. Well, I just got back to my apartment after working at the garage, putting that front wheel swap on the bike. Guess what I found on my doorstep after finishing that work? A brake disc that was just delivered for the front of the Greenger. This is the circular brake disc I was just mentioning. Oh well.